You're watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. We're on the road this morning with Jay Poppy. Jay, we're at the uh, entrance road to the Mallard Fishing Access Site, a place that uh, saw a lot of flood water here not too long ago. Where we're standing, I'm not stepping back any further. Let's talk about what the situation is here and why the uh, access site is closed. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't stand back any further <laughs> than, than you are. But uh, so during the flood, you know, uh, massive flooding here. We had a ton of erosion. Uh, the site was completely flooded. Um, we lost a lot of bank um, around the bottom near the boat ramp area and the camping area and stuff. But when we came to do our initial assessments, um, we noticed this portion of the road here. Um, we used to have a memorial bench at the top there. Um, that's no longer there. Some of our fencing uh, along the top is also gone. Mm -hmm. So this has eroded significantly. Um, creating a serious road hazard for people coming around the hairpin curve here mm -hmm. and accessing the campground. Yeah, you showed me a demonstration here and we'll show that uh, clip of video while we're talking about this. Simply the vibration of you pounding on the ground, uh, sloughing this bank off. Um, what would that be like with somebody pulling a boat trailer up here? Not really survivable, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's it's probably 60 vertical feet down to the water, mm -hmm. um, and then into the water they would go. And our primary concern is, you know, large RVs and pulling trailers and meeting in the middle here, and somebody getting really close to that edge, close mm -hmm. enough, closer than where I was uh, pounding on it, and and the bank gives way. It's just le just not a safe roadway anymore. You and I met here not all that long ago. Work was done on this road. Yep. Um, Mother Nature had other plans, obviously. Obviously, yeah. We had our design and construction team, uh, the engineers out of Helena come down and look at it. We hired a consulting engineer mm -hmm. and they were on no uncertain terms advising us to keep this road closed just due to the amount of vibration the lack of vibration it would take to actually have a serious collapse here. Yeah, while you and I were standing here talking, uh, rocks were sloughing off of that upper bank just without any kind of vibration in that. Now, this isn't the end for the Mallard Fishing Access site. I know work is in the progress. You're going to try to do something to ultimately get this place open back up. Absolutely. I mean, our goal is to get this open as soon as we can. But as you can see, we're kind of built on a, on a bed of marbles here. And, and mm -hmm. we've got a lot, of, a lot of figuring out to do on how we can keep this open safely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even a large range storm in the middle of the night uh, you know could slough this off and trap people down in here we would have to evacuate them mm -hmm. um, who knows how we would do that at this point so um, it's just in the you know for public safety we you know in good conscience we have to keep this site closed and uh, more news to follow obviously as work progresses if there is an opportunity to do that uh, you'll let folks know absolutely and we're working closely with FEMA um, on all to assess all of our sites in the mm -hmm. area you know for cleanup and infrastructure damages and that sort of thing so it's it's a constant process to, to get these open almost every site on the river that we have is open we still have three closed this mm -hmm. being one of them mm -hmm. um, but our intent was always to get this open so the public could enjoy it, but we can't open this one yet. Safety is a must. Absolutely. All right, Jay, thank you very much. Thank you. And that is This Week in Fish and Wildlife. You've been watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife.